Okay guys, um, another video here, 1979 Ironhead Sportster uh, Custom Bobtail. And uh, like I was saying in the other video, it came in for uh, clutch repair after we had already put a clutch in it. Um, <laughs> and it, uh, I don't know what he did, but the boy was riding it. I wish I'd have filmed the damage when I took it apart, but um, if you can see this one spacer that goes on the backing plate with the threads, I don't know how well the lighting and everything is. It's it's significantly bent up. Um, and that was, they were all bent, the, the threads were bent. There we go, now it's trying to focus in. See that thing? Um, <laughs> Yeah, they were they were bent up pretty good. Looked like he did a hole shot um, right off the bat, and then what happened was um, it hung up. So the clutch was like half engaged, and you know I guess he's probably like ripping and tearing, going through the gears. It just ate the shit out of that clutch. Um, just chewed it up, chewed the uh, friction material completely off the steel plates. Uh, I mean it just boogered it up bad. Um, so before. We had a lot of problems with this old cover. Um, <laughs> I mean, look at this thing, you know, but he rather had bought some, you know, hand, fancy handlebars and chrome levers, but um, then he came to reality when the thing came back and now he's got to, had to do a whole new clutch and you guys know what that money is. Um, and then a new NOS cover, okay? So he's got more money in this thing than, you know, he'll ever get out of it. So he's stuck now, but um, yeah, this cover was boogered up pretty good. It'd been well used, like most of them. Uh, there had been places where you can see uh, there had been damage, re-weld it and ground um, back down. And of course, their workmanship wasn't the best. Um, you can see there had been some welding, and so forth. I mean, this thing was shot, wallowed out. Um, the, the thing would barely hold the clutch mechanism. It had been staked in and out so many times. That's how the mechanism gets held in there, for those of you who don't know. Um, this mechanism right here where you do the adjusting um, here I'll squeeze the clutch you can watch it kind of go in and out let me get a better shot the lighting's terrible see it okay well on the inside it's kind of um, I got a little steel plate back in there in the washer and you set it down in there and you just kind of stake it um, with a punch and you bend the metal over and that's what holds it in there um, it used to pop out and the, when we first got it it didn't have a spacer in there and he wondered why it didn't work so uh, it you know the spacer or washer or whatever you want to call it um, this thing's just a mess so anyway we got that squared away got the new cover on um, it's a new old stock cover NOS and um, I just got a couple things here I just put the tensioner back in for the chain um, down under there and got that adjusted see all the oil uh, that's all going to get cleaned off uh, as soon as we get all this buttoned up and buff the cover up and clean it up, but um, they've had a lot of trouble with the drain plug. They're notorious for uh, stripping out, and of course it's been heli cold and a bunch of other stuff, so it's leaking. I want to fix that before I give it back to them. Um, and that little screw hole you see there, that's your uh, oil transmission slash primary slash gear box oil level screw. That little screw right there screws in there, and... Uh, you know, you put the oil in the top here. Um, this is also where you check your chain adjustment. Can't see the chain in there right now because I don't have the light on it, but there's a chain in there and I'm wiggling it up and down. Um, and then of course you tighten up your your uh, adjuster and jam nut on the bottom and that's how you tighten your chain on these. And uh, I gotta change the plugs over because they are black and ugly. It's the uh, Allen uh, wrench type, the hexagon type plug not the old uh, slot kind that were terrible so that part's good but anyway uh, I don't know if any of this is making sense to most of you I'm trying to explain it good but I'm gonna shoot some videos of this uh, <clears throat> I had an introduction video before and I got to change the speedo we put up you see from the video two years ago we had electronic speedo on it which was really cool but the thing never did work right uh, and you put these little magnets on the front and they flew off and I mean it just was yeah, it was kind of a cheesy eBay thing he bought, and it just didn't work worth the crap. So, um, But anyway, yeah, it came in for that. Uh, the last time we rebuilt the swing arm and did all that stuff to it. Uh, I don't know who built it. I think they got it. I can't remember now. Tennessee or 
somewhere um, they picked this thing up and so I'm not sure who built it maybe somebody recognize it one day I'll do a really complete walk around on it um, before long when I have it in a better place it's kind of shoved back here in the hole um, a lot of stuff in the videos kind of get end up back here in this little dungeon I call it um, where I got a bunch of crap laying around but uh, anyway customers bike 1979 Ironhead 1000 Sportster and um, I'll go over everything we did a lot we completely rewired it originally and got it running for the guy and oh it, this this thing had been something else um, real pain in the rear but uh, it's coming along and now at least at least I'm really familiar with it so <laughs> but anyway stay tuned because uh, I have a, some different things I'm going to do to it and I'll so like I said, we'll get it up and running here in a few days and a um, bunch of other stuff, a bunch of other videos to come. So just stay tuned. Appreciate you guys following along.